I'm going to explain to y'all what's going on. Bear with me, though. I might need to pause sometimes because I can't have breath easy. And this thing is, like, by my voice box. So, remember when I was having lung issues and I told you guys, make sure you get your lungs checked. Yeah, well, I had a bronoscopy where they stick a camera down your throat into your lungs back in November. And they saw I have a spot in my right lung, and which I told you guys. I don't know if I told you guys. Maybe I did. But um, I have a spot in my right lung. is caused because of vaping, but I don't vape. Never vaped in my life. So, they're trying to figure out why I'm aspirating into my lungs. Aspirating into your lungs is when food particles or unknown chemicals or you know acid reflux could be going up at night into your lungs while you're sleeping and they see that the spot of my lungs that they tested is caused due to aspiration so now my lung doctors are trying to figure out why i'm aspirating so even though this is this test is a ph test it's for your esophagus it tests your ph level um while you're sleeping at night and all the time. And then I have to click when I'm eating, when I'm not eating, when I'm sitting upright or when I'm laying down, chest pain, burping, all these different symptoms you record, right? While you do this for 24 hours. And then based on that, they can tell if you have acid reflux. So this is like a basically a solid yes or no answer if you have acid reflux. So I did this test back in 2018 along with the manometry test, which is a bigger catheter. This is a catheter, but it has a bigger catheter and they test the contractions of your muscles. So I do have esophagus dysmotility. And back in 2018, they noticed that I do not have acid reflux because I did this test. But now my lung doctor wants me to repeat this test to see if I have acid reflux aspirating into my lungs, which is causing me to get the spot on my right lung. So yeah, pretty crazy. Um, I had to go back and do this a second time in my life. Never thought I would have to do it again. It's pretty annoying, but um, I'm getting it out in a few hours. Yeah, I'm in the same clothes because they said don't wash with it. Don't take a shower. But um, yeah, hopefully my doctor can figure out why this is happening because everyone's kind of clueless. So 